Hello. Uh, what I'd like to show for this lesson is uh, some jamming on on a, on a basic one four five uh, chord progression. Uh, what I actually did is uh, there, there's a, a cool jam track in the uh, the Digitech Jam Man uh, jam track number two, uh, and uh, I, I used it as as kind of my basis to uh, to to do this chord progression. I used the feel of that that track. So it's kind of a kind of a cool track. Then so did my own version of it. So, th so I call this uh, Jam Man Number Two Redo, um, and uh, it's in A. Uh, it's an A9 feel, uh, A dominant, A dominant, uh, one four five. Um, I'm going to use the minor pentatonic to show this. And what I'd like to do is just just give some basic ideas for improvisation. On, on, on what to do, how to start to come up with, with ideas. So, so we're going to talk about our root of the one chord being on the, well, the A minor pentatonic we're using is uh, fifth position, uh, fingering pattern, one, four, fourth finger on the, on the eighth fret, first finger on the uh, fifth fret, seventh fret. Well, you know that uh, that that pattern and are pretty adept at, uh, at uh, playing through that scale. Uh, we're going to focus on a few notes here uh, rather than uh, uh, the entire scale. A lot of what we, we pull from when we try to improvise uh, something uh, are, are rhythmic ideas. So whether it's just quarter notes, one, two, three, four. Or and I you get an, get a, a basic idea set up like a, say a quarter note, two eighth notes, and two more quarter notes. So like bum 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 one two and three four one two and three four. Now a lot of times with this type of, of style, what we we do we, we sort of sw swing the uh, the feel. So instead of a straight one two and three four one two and three four. We use a swing triplet sort of feel, like a one and a two and a three and a four and a, so we get bum 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 bum. Uh, if I did all triplets, it would be one and a two and a three and a four and a, so we get a feel like a dum bum 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 bum. <laughs> So if I just use that that feel uh, for this chord progression, um, let me give you the notes I'm going I'm to basically be using. So the root notes will be uh, seventh fret of the fourth string. That's our A root uh, for our one chord. The third string seventh fret is our root for our four chord. Um, so let me just backtrack, uh, make sure I said that right. The, uh, the one chord root is the A on the seventh fret of the fourth string. The four chord root is the D on the uh, third string, seventh fret, third finger on all these. And the, the five chord root is the uh, seventh fret of the fifth string. That's our E. So one, four, five, one is our a note, D note, E note, and A note. So if say I just use this pattern like uh, what, I, what I originally said. Uh, so I'm going down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. You might notice that I put a little bit of a stop between the uh, the sounds of the notes. In other words, I don't play it legato as in. I'm just holding my finger on the note with my left hand and just letting the pick go down, down, up, down, down to get this little bit of a staccato uh, feel, uh, which is quite typical. Um, a combination of lifting the left hand a little bit off of the notes to get some silence in there. And also there's a there's kind of a lot of subtle stuff going on with, with, with the right hand pick. Um, where we either put the pick on the strings to stop the note or use the flesh of, of, of the thumb behind the pick to, to, to stop the, the, the different different notes. Um, there's more lessons I, I, I either have up now or will, will have up 
uh, about um, pl playing and muting and things. So this has to do with muting with the uh, the right hand. Um, okay, uh, let me put on the track. I'll let it go one time through and explain what the chords are uh, what are happening with the chords. So this is our A chord or one chord. Our four chord, our D chord, our one chord again, our A chord, E chord, five chord, one chord, one chord. So here's that rhythmic pattern. Basically, we pause this. We're going to stay basically on uh, notes on the third, uh, four, uh, the fourth, third, and fifth string. So let's say we'll use uh, the fifth and seventh frets of each of those strings. Uh, the root notes again are on the seventh fret of each of those strings. So fourth string is the root of the, uh, the one chord, seventh fret, uh, seventh fret. Third string is the root of the four chord, and the root of the five chord is on the fifth string. And I'm going to also add, as I'm improvising here, the uh, the, uh, the fifth fret notes also. So I'll be doing things like stuff like that, like that, using the fifth and, and seventh frets. So again, I'm setting up that. I'm trying to set up this basic rhythmic idea. I wouldn't normally just stay on the same rhythmic idea, but just to give you some ideas, I'm, I'm trying to give you this. Uh, one, two, uh, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bum, 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 bum. I'm trying to stay on that, although I'll probably unconsciously start varying it a little bit. But um, but uh, here, here we go. These are just the roots of each chord. It's a little bit difficult to keep going with the exact same pattern all the time, but again, I'm trying to give you some basic idea here um, on, on what to pull from uh, to get an improvisation going. So again, I'm using that pattern, that down, down, up, down, down, one, two, a three, four, and again, I'm swinging that second, uh, the, the second eighth note beat. So instead of one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, I'm going one, two, a three. Four. Bum, bum, ba bum, bum. Now, if I uh, were to let that pattern, to change that pattern, say I, I went, I put the eighth notes on the third beat. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And again, I'm swinging, swinging the field. Bum, 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 like that instead of bum, 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 bum. So one, two, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, a four. So. 
So let me go through a pattern once uh, using that. again now and I'm going to just be a little bit more free with the pattern I'm going to try to keep it simple with these uh, several notes we're using so again I'm basically using the the fifth string fifth fret seventh fret fourth string fifth fret seventh fret and third string fifth fret seventh fret so uh, one other thing I'll do is I'll bend the seventh fret of the third string up a whole step to the sound of the ninth fret and let me do a little bit with this again I'm going to be a little bit more free with the, the patterns and, and everything here but I'll try to keep it as, as simple as I can just for demonstration purposes so here we go oh, trying to start it at the beginning here we go centering around the roots of the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, uh, and, and, the, and the one chord again from the seventh fret of the fourth string. That's the root of the one chord in this key of A. Root of the four chord is seventh fret third string, and root of the fifth chord is seventh fret of fifth string. So we have... And again, I was throwing in the... Um, the, the fifth frets also for, for those again just trying to give some basic ideas of how to how to just start impro improvising if you um, if you don't have a feel for, the, for for that yet so hopefully this will give you a little bit of a start doing that and uh, that's it for now thanks